listening to KTW Broadcasting from the beautiful island of Guam. Our program is heard each Sunday at 1026 Coordinated Universal Time. Broadcasting on 5200 kilohertz in the 19 meter band. Coming up next is DXR Diary. This is KTWR, Aganya, Guam, where hope knows no barriers. Hi, this is your favorite show, The Excess Diary, and I'm your friend, Arun Kumar Narsiman from Chennai in India. As you all know, this five minute week's program has been broadcast every Sunday in KTWR through its transmitters in Aganya, Guam. 36 hours UTC. Every week, we provide you with the latest information about DXing, short-wave radio broadcasting, news from the world of radio. Every week, we have been providing information about transport number, SFI forecast, and A index with the hope that it would be useful for and amateur radio operators across the world. The transport number this week is 24. SFI forecast ranges from 78 to 82, and A index ranges from 3 to 8. We have been broadcasting information about DX clubs across the world, which will help listeners to know information and functioning about DX clubs in other parts of the globe. This week, we will listen to the history of ADXBDL. According to information available in their website, the ADXBDL is a club of like-minded people who are actively involved in DXing and exchange information on shortwave radio listening. The majority of the members of ADXBDL are from German-speaking countries. ADXBDL has existed for over 40 years. In 1968, young people in a home on Burger Streets, which is between Dramsjet and Mannheim, founded the Association of Young DXers on Burger Streets, abbreviated as ADXB. As the number of members grew, the club name was changed to Association of young DX ADXB so that today only the B in the abbreviation of the name indicates the origin of the club. The association quickly gained a considerable number of members in German speaking countries, especially in Germany and Austria. As a result, the association got split up in 1970 into the German ADXB DL and the Austrian ADXB OE. ADXB DL has been a registered association since February 1984. Since the beginning, ADXB has published its newsletter under the name QSO and distributed regularly among its members. The QSO was one of the first newsletters for radio shortwave radio listening. In order to be more efficient, ADXB DL has joined hands with other associations in Germany to form the DXEV, also known as AGDX Working Group. For more information, listeners can log on to their website www.adxb-dl.de. I repeat, it's www.adxb-dl.de. DXL Jerry would like to thank Mr. P. S. Seger for sending his valuable shortwave radio logs every week. In his logs, Mr. Seger has mentioned that he has listened to Voice of America's English language program in 9350 kHz, 11700 kHz, and 12030 kHz at 1144 hours UTC with a simple of 444. Voice of Vietnam English language program in 12020 kHz with a simple of 333. BBC English in 9410 kHz with a simple of 444. And he has heard the same broadcast in an alternate frequency 11945 kHz. Friends, we have come to the end of the program now. As in the past, I request you to send your listeners logs band scans, reception report, views, and opinion about the program to dxsdiary at gmail.com. Please do keep encouraging us by sending your reception report regularly, and we will acknowledge your reception reports with a QSL card or an eQSL as early as possible. 
We request you to please be safe from COVID-19 by staying home and following SMS, using soap, wearing masks and maintaining social distancing. Besides, continuing to do your favorite hobby, DXing. Until next week, this is your friend Arun Kumar Nasiman signing off. 73. Bye-bye.